Okay, today's lesson is on unit price. So here are some examples. Heidi sells cleaning products in a bulk in bulk at her store. She puts the liquid in large containers and customers can fill their own bottles. Um, how should Heidi display the unit price for the cleaner that sells for $115 per 25 liters? Okay. So we could go $115 over 25 liters. We want to know the unit price. So we're going to do the price per one liter. Okay, ratios are like t-shirts and pants. If your price is your t-shirts, your price has to be your t-shirts on this side, and your liters, pants, your liters, pants. Okay, and ask yourself what makes sense when you're doing unit pricing. Does it make sense to do dollar per liter or liter per dollar? Okay, when we sell stuff, it's usually the price per liter, and that doesn't make sense. Okay, so now that we've set this up, you multiply and divide. That's how you cross multiply. So 115 divided by 25 equals 4.6, which is $4.60 per liter. Okay. What does customer one pay if he buys 500 milliliters? Okay, so now we know this. We know $4.60 per one liter. We want to know how much the customer is going to buy for 500 milliliters. Okay, so look at my t-shirts. They're the same, but what about my pants? They're not the same. So I need to make them the same. So what do you know? You know one liter is the same as a thousand milliliters. So let's cross this out and replace it with a thousand milliliters. Now we can multiply and divide by a thousand. So 460 times 500 divided by a thousand equals 2.3. So $2.30 is your answer. Okay, customer two, same idea, $4.60 per one liter equals how much they're gonna spend for 100 milliliters. Okay, so my pants are not the same. So I'm going to replace that one liter with 1,000 milliliters. So now I have milliliters both on the bottom times divide and you get 0.46 or 46 cents per 100 Student council members, please meet at the trophy case. All the student council members, please meet at the trophy case. Okay, question two. Rama advertises bananas for $1.99 per kilogram. Is this more or less than 60, 59 cents per pound? Okay, so we have one pound equals 0.45 kg. So um, we're going to take this 59 cents per one pound. Okay, and we're going to cross that out and replace one pound with 0.45 kilograms. Okay, now we're comparing it to this price per one kilogram. So I now want to know the price per one kilogram. When this costs 59 cents per 4.45 kilograms. So you can cross multiply, divide. So 0.59 times 1 I don't need to do, divide it by 0.45, and I get $1.31. So let's answer the question, is this one more? Yes. 
$1.99 is more than this. Okay, you could have done it um, the other way, converting this per one kilogram, and you could have replaced that with 2.2 pounds, knowing that conversion, and then you could have said, what is that per one pound? So that's the other way you could have done it. So $1.99 times one, don't need to do, divided by 2.2. So that comes out to be 90 cents per pound, which is more expensive than 59 cents per pound. Okay, last example. Cindy is an interior decorator. She is choosing fabric for curtains. Linens cost 38.25 for three yards, cotton 60 for eight. So which one is cheaper? So we're going to do unit price, so I want to know the price per one yard of fabric. Same thing here, if it's 60 for 8 yards, I want to know the price for one yard. So once I have my ratio set up, I multiply and divide, multiply, divide. So 38.25 divided by three is 12.75 per yard. And the last one there, 60 divided by eight is 7.50 per yard. So which fabric is cheaper? Your answer would be cotton. Okay, that's unit price 5.1.